Welcome to Daily Conversation. This is Mr. Kane. Eric. Yeah, today is the 16th of August 2021, and the time now is 6.17 a.m. Well, today our topic is the, the Super Mario effect. Well, so before we get started, please click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, so here we go. Yeah, so for this uh, video, um, yeah, uh, uh, they did a research and then uh, the result of the research actually uh, did surprise me. Yeah, and then uh, um, uh, it is about giving two groups of people and then uh, they go and try uh, do the coding and then uh, to see whether they successfully um, make it or not. And then uh, the first group, uh, yeah, they, they uh, the, the first group and the, and the second group, they are doing the same coding. But the difference is that the second group, uh, they will have a, five points deduction uh, after any uh, attempts which is not successful yeah and then uh, the result came out uh, the, the the first group uh, actually did better than the second group so it means that uh, um, when people see they lose five points and then uh, actually these uh, uh, affect their emotion uh, this failure, the effect of failure is being magnified and they have the feeling that uh, they lose the point. Yep, and then, uh, um, yeah, and then uh, for here, uh, it points out the, uh, the, the, the feeling of failure and then uh, uh, maybe also the fear of failure. Uh, can affect us to continue doing something and also affect our uh, maybe emotion uh, in, in the whole process. And uh, for this Super Mario effect, uh, it actually focused on uh, learning something. Yeah, and uh, if we focus on good and positive thing and then uh, uh, maybe if we focus on uh, the, the the final thing if we want to achieve, we focus on maybe uh, rewards or focus on the price, and then uh, uh, it is a it is a good way to help us to shift our focus uh, from failure, feeling of failure to uh, keep trying. Yeah, and then uh, so here I'm, I'm wondering uh, whether the concept that you share with me uh, in the previous conversations uh, can be applied and will work here. Um, which is the visualization and also the cognitive therapy? Yeah, for visualizations, we imagine our success. Uh, and then also uh, taking into account maybe some obstacles uh, uh, during the, the, the process. And then, uh, yeah, for this one, I think uh, um, it helped us to uh, have the preparation. We know that we will have, we will have encounter uh, obstacles and then uh, that is already in our mind. So. Uh, we won't feel like uh, uh, we fail. Uh, it is something like uh, we, we will switch it from uh, judging ourselves, we, are, we, we fail to do something, to, uh, to, uh, to, to try an arrow, uh, which we actually um, trying to find a way and then to, uh, um, to make it work. Yeah, because uh, it must have something wrong so that we, uh, we, we didn't make it. 
Yep, and then uh, for the cognitive therapy, uh, which we magnified failure, and then uh, um, yeah, maybe it is just uh, something like uh, a try and error, and then uh, you must have encountered failure, and this is uh, inevitable. So uh, if we if we can uh, in and intervene our our mind and then change our interpretation to failure. Yeah. So um, uh, yeah, I think it 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 uh, it works here. So um, we we will not focus so much on failure. Yep. And then uh, next, I think uh. Also, this one can be related to uh, atomic habit. And then in atomic habit, we have uh, uh, the, uh, one of the, uh, uh, the one of the thing is to make it satisfying. Yeah, and also uh, we can also make use of the opposite of this effect, make it unsatisfying. So um, for here, the feeling of failure, I think, is something unsatisfying. And uh, in the book also, we have some uh, uh, techniques. For example, the paper clip uh, uh, techniques. And then um, the paper clip itself is uh, actually meaningless. I mean, uh, how many paper clip you have put from one to the other? Uh, actually, it's just uh, the feeling to us. Yeah. Um. Uh. But but the, the uh but the feeling to us is uh is meaningful. Yeah. But the paper clip itself, more or less, is meaningless. So, for the Super Mario effect, and then the in the research, the second group, any fail attempt will make them lose five points, and then the points also is meaningless. And then, uh, but the but the uh, losing of five points, uh, the the feeling to us is uh, uh, is something that uh, we could we couldn't ignore. Yeah. So um um uh, so for here uh, we we may try two ways I think for uh, this super Mario effect. And the first way is to uh, um, trying to uh, uh, be aware of the, uh, the the failure, the the feeling of failure that will make us uh, something like uh, being unsatisfied, something, and then we uh, may may not repeat and may not try again. We may stop here. And then uh, the second way is to um, uh, try to shift the focus away uh, from that. And then uh, if we can, we can try to make it uh, satisfying instead. So uh, that is something like uh, uh, we, we, we don't want unsatisfying, we want satisfying instead. Yeah, so... Um, and also for Super Mario effect, uh, um, it's about tricking our brain um, uh, to 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 do something, and then in the learning process, uh, um, and then uh, emotion, yeah, again is uh, something very important. Yeah, so I think uh, these are my my thoughts about these. Topic. And if you want to integrate atomic habit to 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 the experiment, how would you do? Instead of instead of deduct five five points, if they make error, can you can you give them five points? They if they do it right. Um. Give them five points. Uh, uh, maybe they in, in that research because that is a car, right? And then uh, let's say if they uh, 
they can uh, go a further step closer to the destination and then maybe they get yeah the, the points they they receive the point instead of they, they lose the point they won't lose the point but they will increase the point yeah so mm. do you think uh, it will be the, the result will be better um result uh uh i think maybe yes maybe no um because if they uh if they if they can get the points and then let's say if fail if they fail uh after the they they get the point uh they fail many times maybe they feel like oh i couldn't get any points for so many rounds uh yeah it, it, it uh it also has some in fact, I, I don't know whether this is uh, uh, in in a positive or negative way in the end. Yeah. So, uh, so what's the relationship? If you want to, uh, if you want to draw the conclusions, uh, what atomic habits make sense for this experiment? Um. Okay. Uh, for this experiment, uh. Um, um yeah in atomic habits uh and the learning process uh i think uh the the more we try the the higher chance we can uh we can get it we can learn it so uh um if we repeat it and then uh we can kind of uh make it satisfying, then uh, it will be good for the research. Um, every, time, every time they try, they get the points. Yeah, may maybe they can also do that uh, instead of focus on the distance closer to the, to the destination. Maybe they try one time and they, they get the points, something like they, uh, they are determined to try, to, to try it and then they get the rewards. And I think in that way, uh, that that will be a positive effect. I mean, uh, every time they try to get the points, and uh, even though they they fail at the beginning. Mm. But but do you remember one of the one of the effect is is something like if the incentive become if the if you give somebody monetary incentive and then their focus will shift mm. yeah so uh, i'm not sure do you still remember uh the story which is let's say uh, uh a lot of ch uh, a lot of kids comes to come, come ah. to the place yeah to to play the to play the ball and and if you want to get rid of them you you just give them some candy and after a few days, if you don't give them any candy, then they don't want to uh, come and play anymore. Yeah. And also, uh, you you could have a lot. You could have a lot of example. For example, if you start if you start give your employee bonus, and first year you give them, second year you give them, and third year you didn't give them, and then maybe maybe just because the third year. You didn't give them bonus, and then they, they, uh, they, they resign. They join another company. Yeah. Because, um, uh, one of the thing is people is risk averse and and loss averse, and when they already adapt the reward, and you keep giving them, when they already adapt the reward, and suddenly you didn't. You, you didn't give them. Yeah. This is under expectation. Under expectation is also one of the failure. Mm. Yeah, and then, so, does it mean that we shouldn't integrate rewards into our learning? Um. Or in other things? Um, 
uh, uh, yeah, for for example, if the reward is based on uh, repetition, yeah, the uh, the number of your trials, and I think uh, uh, every time you try, you must get the points. So this kind of rewards, uh, maybe it will work because uh, uh, you 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 must get it every time. Do you think human is so easily to be cheated? Every time you give them the point, and then eventually they they will try to understand uh, what is the use of this point, and then at the end they found that there's no use. So could it be the disincentive wise for them to continue to do that, just like the candy? Yeah, it could be because uh, if they really affected by and uh, uh, focus solely on the incentive, and then maybe they forgot their purpose, their initial objective they want to achieve. Yeah, just like uh, we read, uh, uh, we read in last reading session, which is the good heart rules. When the measure become a target, it ceases. It ceases to become a good measure. Mm. Yes. So, so what's the correct mindset for doing that? Um. By giving rewards, or by uh, or by learning something new. How do you reward your students to uh, to let them keep learning or learn better? Um, for me, uh, yeah, I, uh, actually for me, I uh, I didn't give rewards to them. Maybe. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, I didn't get. I, I I didn't give rewards to them. Hmm. Yeah, I yeah. I remember when 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 I when I was still a kid. I remember one of our teacher would give the students one candy if we get hundred marks. You get the full marks in uh, uh in the. Uh, what is it called? The Qingxi, which is the spelling. So, oh, the small sure. test. Yeah, in the small test. If we get full mark, maybe 10 out of 10 or 15 out of 10, they'll give us a candy. Mm. Mm. Uh, but I didn't start, but yeah, but because I, I don't, I don't keep the memories so clear. So I, uh, I didn't, I, uh, uh, I didn't remember why is, uh, why is the end. Yeah, so uh, what I want to say is, do you think this kind of rewards effective in terms of helping students learning better, learn better? Um, yeah, firstly, uh, I think uh, it will end ends up in the way that you mentioned just now because we already get the rewards and then uh, um, yeah the rewards must be ongoing if you stop there and then uh, that could in, uh, that could give negative effects by not giving rewards uh, in the future and then uh, second is that some student um, that they they maybe they they uh they are poorer and then they couldn't get the rewards because the rewards is based on 
the achievement, maybe, uh, like you said, uh, you need to get the full mark in order to uh, get your rewards. So for them, every time they didn't get the rewards, they see other people get the rewards. And then, uh, yeah, for them, maybe it's, uh, it's something bad. Yeah, and it is good for the student that they can uh, uh, they can achieve it uh, if they work hard. Yeah. So, so how atomic habits can apply here? Hmm. Or do you think the uh, the incentive uh, when we too focus about the monetary incentive, yeah. um, it will shift your focus and it actually will give uh, a a give um, lower. Uh, sorry, what one who say is uh, if you give other people monetary incentive, you shift their focus, and if you don't continue to give them, they uh. Uh, they'll stop to do the thing. This idea, this this kind of concept, do you think this is real or false? This is true or false? Yeah, if this is false, then everything you mentioned just now makes sense. If this is true, everything you said just now doesn't make sense. I think for for monetary one. Um, yeah, it, uh, the effect must be there. Maybe more or less depend on uh, de depend on the money that you give, and also depend on uh, the person receive the money. But yeah, is, is is money is money of kids. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I believe that the, the effect must be there. Uh, it is just whether it's, it's the effect is significant or, 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 or not significant. It must have some effect. Mm. Yeah, so how to integrate atomic habits and how to avoid the effect uh, could be one of the study, could be one of, uh, could be one of the important points. Mm. And then uh, what Super Mario effect mentioned about is just about the punishment. In atomic habit, we know that form a good habit, you need immediate rewards. When you want mm. to break a bad habit, you need immediate punishment. And in this case, we just, we just remove the immediate punishment. So there's no immediate rewards. But there's also no immediate punishment, so they keep to continue to do the thing. If you give the if you give immediate punishment, it will stop them to 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 do the thing. Yeah. So this is it's actually is compare if you don't give immediate punishment, and if you give immediate punishment, what uh, uh what is the effect? Yeah, and of course, if you don't give immediate punishments, the uh, the, the result will be better and it makes sense uh, for, uh, for what we know about atomic habits. Hmm. And about learning, the speaker mentioned one of the things which is very important, which is gamification. Gamification is something that you make the things, maybe it is a learned uh, things you need to learn, maybe it is an exam, maybe it is a test, maybe it is a job. This is a career. You make it become like a game. And there's one of the book called the gamification. Uh, gamifications. Yeah. Uh, I for I forget the the real book name. That is uh, but but the, I think one of the keyword of the book name is gamification, and this is a very very famous book published few years uh few years ago. Mm. And I did uh I didn't read that book. Mm. Uh, but but I uh, but I saw some book review 
I listened to some podcast discuss about the book. And one of the one of the assumption, maybe uh, maybe the author has done some research, maybe it's just assumption, maybe this is just an observation of the author. The author say that they notice that if the people can make it, uh, make a thing they want to do become like a game, or if they believe, if they believe all of the things, like like our whole world, our whole world is a simulation, is something fake, and whatever they did is actually nothing. Just like you play the game, you play the, the you play the Super Mario game, you die and you won't uh, uh you won't die. Yeah, you uh you had the chance to 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 try again. Yeah. And for those people uh, believe in this, like our world, our reality is just like a game. They are more likely to be success. Mm. Why? Because uh, it gives them, it gives them the idea that try and error. Yeah, you just need to try. Yeah, of course you you'll make mistakes, you'll make error, but you won't die. Mm. Hmm. And it makes sense to our happiness level. And in our current world, this is not like in the age of our ancient ancestor. If we make a mistake, we may die. If we hmm. misjudge the, uh, uh, whether the animal can can be eaten, and then we eat that, and we got uh, and, and then we got the poison, maybe food poison, so maybe. It's just, uh, it's like the snake, yeah, the, 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 the snake poison. If we misjudge whether the animal can be eat, maybe it's a mushroom, maybe it is a snake, maybe it is other animal, and then we will die. But in our current and modern world, this is not the case. So that we can take more risks, we can take more risks and we can try. Of course, for our base happiness level, it will go down if we fail, if we make mistake, but it will bounce back. And as more we try, we will become more resilient. We'll, uh, the happiness level will bounce back more quickly, more promptly. And, but, and over time, we accumulate our skill and then we are able to, to replicate the success over time, our happiness level, our base happiness level increase. Even though we feel a lot of time, but we also success a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, all this idea, you can link to the gamification, which is, if, uh, if you don't afraid of failure, you, you keep trying, you keep trying. No matter your base happiness level or no matter your success, Will be, uh, will be at a higher level. So you are more likely to be successful, you are more likely to be happy over time. Mm. Yeah. And one of the things, uh, uh, one of the ideas that I'm not sure where I take from, I think it's from one book which is called The Na Nature of Poor, Ping Chong de Ben Zhi. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but uh, but this is a English book. Hmm. This is a nature of poor. And inside the book, it mentioned about uh why the poor cannot become rich, and why the poor uh want to become rich, they need to take a lot of effort. They need to do a lot of things. One of thing is because hmm. For poor people, they need to, uh, yeah, because they don't have money. So maybe they live in, uh, they live in, uh, they live in a, uh, a place which don't have clean water, which don't have like transportation. Mm -hmm. So every time they need to go out to work or, or every morning, 
they wake up, they want to cook the water, and they uh they, they need to add some chemical to um, or they want uh or they need to like uh make the water clean. So okay, uh okay, for example, for example, nowadays we have the water filter at our home. So we have the uh, we have the water filter machines. So if we want to cook our if you want to cook the water, if you want to drink the water, what we need to do, we just need to, we, we just need to uh, fill the water from the pipe of the water filter machines, and then we can uh, maybe we can cook the uh, we can cook the water, and we can we can drink directly, and it won't take you more than like one minute to do that. Or maybe you mm. can directly drink the water from the water filter pipe, mm. Mm. Uh, uh, or from the water filter machine. But for poor people, do you think they have money to buy water filter machines? No. no. And then what they need to do? They need to find a way to filter the water. And it takes more times. It takes more effort. And so there are a lot of things in their life. There are a lot of things is like this in their life. You just need to spend little time, and then you can complete. They need to spend a lot of time. They need to spend more energy. For example, cook the rice. If they don't have rice cooker, how how can they cook the rice? Mm. They need to cook by the pot. Mm. Or maybe if they only have one pot, yeah. And then they need to cook the rice first. Then they need to, and then after that they cook the veggie. They cook the maybe they got meat something, and the whole. The whole process of prepare of preparations of dinner maybe take one hours or two hours, but for us maybe the same meal, the same dishes we just need take like thirty minutes or twenty minutes. So they yeah. they spend too much of their self controlling ability to those small things, and it end up they they don't have enough self controlling ability. To save money, to to avoid, to to against to against with the temptations, temptation mm. of spending money, temptation of eating expensive food and delicious food, temptation of uh of eating unhealthy food. Yeah. Mm. Smoking. <laughs> what? Smoking. What? Yeah, I mean, smoking. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. It could, uh, uh, yeah, it also could be one of things. Mm. And they they don't have enough self control ability to to do the right thing, because they already spend all their self controlling ability on the wrong thing, and uh, not on the wrong thing, but on the small thing. Yeah. Yeah. So. The, uh. Uh, why is it related to uh to our uh to our today's topic is about the freedom. No matter if it's uh it could be like the your head uh your head space, your 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 mind uh uh, uh whether you have the peace mind, whether you have a freedom of mind, and I remember we have, uh, we discussed this before. This is like the head space. So this is something like the freedom, mm. yeah. freedom or or peace, something like that. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's it's something called the, something called the, uh, in Chinese is called 头脑空间. So it could be like the my space or my mm. freedoms. Yeah, and we have uh we discussed this before. Yeah, no matter which one is uh, uh no matter if it's a my uh my freedom or no matter if it's a my space, they don't have that. Mm, they don't have that. In their mind they they have too many things to do. Although all of the thing is small thing. And they 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 struggle and they have they have a lot of stress. 
they just uh, they're just able to focus on something on the short term in uh, on the short term things on the short term benefit on the short term interest they couldn't like uh they, they, they couldn't like see the long futures hmm. yeah and they also don't have the ability they also don't have the ability to prepare for the long term uh, benefit hmm. so uh why the thing relate to today's topic is if you have a lot of things to struggle no matter it's a small thing no matter it is um, unimportant things, but if you have a lot of things to struggle, you can't keep your mind calm and learn something and experience the try and error. Hmm. One of the example is why many people in college, they keep learning, but after leaving the school, after leaving the university, they uh, uh, they start to learn nothing, and at the end, they forget everything. Mm. And when when we are students, we will think, "Wow, I don't want, uh, I don't want to be this kind of adult, mm. like our parents, like some like some uncle, auntie. Mm. They study in their school, but they say, "I forget everything." I returns all my knowledge to teacher. And when mm. we are still students, we don't want to become the person. Mm. And we swear, uh, we swear to ourselves, mm. we don't want to be that kind of person. But how about now? If a person graduate from college for some years, maybe one year, two years, three years, you realize that you you actually becoming that kind of person. Hmm. You slowly returns your knowledge to the teacher. And how about your job? Did you learn something from your job? Yes. Yeah, you did learn something. But is this important? Is the thing important? Maybe yes, maybe no. Yeah. Hmm. And because our job may be replaced it, by uh, by AI or by some other technology in futures, just like our parents' job, the uncle auntie job replaced it by technology, replaced it by the computer. So it becomes they know nothing. Mm. So if our job be replaced by the AI, by the technology, we really know nothing mm, at that time because uh, the only skill we, we learn at job have been replaced. And what other skill uh, we have? Nothing. Mm. Yeah, and, but what make it like this? What make us become the person like that? When, when we are still a student, when we are still in college, we have a lot of time, we have a lot of freedom. We learn the things, we keep focusing, learning something. And after that, when we leave the school, we are struggling to make money. And your parents, your relative, uh, telling you, yeah, it's a time to make money. Yeah. So uh, you should start, you should start making money. Mm. You should start uh, doing, uh, uh, working and feed your family, um, get married, and born child, give birth child, and grow your child. Take care and and take care take care of your kids, um, and then save money for their educations. Um, yeah. Yeah. So after we graduate, um, uh, I couldn't say all people, I, I would say most of people, they not only forget the things they learned in the college, they also didn't learn anything new. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Because they have too many things to struggle. 
just like what I say just now, if you have a lot of things to struggle, you can't keep your mind calm and learn something and experience try and error. Yeah, and I can say all people know what is the process for try and error. Yeah, you learn how to work, you learn how to learn, you you you, you learn some subject in your in your in your school. Initially you don't know uh, you, you know nothing, but slowly you learn something. You learn chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and definitely you uh, some chat. Uh, you have uh, you have your weakness. You're not familiar with a certain sub uh, with certain subject, with certain chapter, and you need to pay more effort to learn to do the questions. Yeah, otherwise you'll fail in the exam. Mm. Yeah, and if you pay more, <clears throat> if you pay more attention, if you work hard, and eventually you are able to learn that, you are able to masterize the the knowledge. So so this is time for you to 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 go to the exam and get a good mark out of that. Yeah, so everyone know the try and error process, but if but if now you tell other people, yeah, you can learn everything you you want to learn, and it's just about try and error. You can learn how to code. Uh, uh, you can learn how to code. You can learn mm. uh, how to how to use Excel. Yeah, you can learn how to do investment. You can learn how to do trade. Uh, trade. Uh, stock trading. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, oh, this thing is try and error. It's just about try and error. Mm. But what they will say? Maybe they'll smile to you. Mm. I don't have time. Yeah. Next time. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, so, so this is what I want to say. If you don't have freedom, then you keep struggling. You can't really learn something, the good. Uh, uh sorry. Uh, uh, you, you can't really, you can't really learn something better. You can't really learn a lot of things. Hmm. And the key point of the gamifications, the first thing is make it interesting. Yeah, so make it like a game. And the second is know the reason why you want to do that, which is a no why. Only you know why you want to do the things. Maybe the thing become your passions. This is something that you really, really, really want to do in your life. Mm. And you will work for that. Yeah, you work for that. Mm. And you know it's a life process because you like to do the thing. So you keep doing that. No matter no matter each time you fail, you'll get the you you'll get deduction of fine point. Yeah, you still will keep doing that. Yeah. And you can always find out the the quote unquote loss. Uh, a loose of fine point, you know. Um, For example, you mean, what? Uh, yeah. You mean in every everything we do in yeah. our life? Yeah, you can always find out, quote unquote, the 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 lost fine point in everything you 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 are trying to do. For example, time. Yeah, time is one of the things we will lose if we fail. On any, uh, on on everything we are trying to, uh, we are trying to do. We are trying to, uh, use a try and error to learn something new. Yeah. Let's say you are learning. Yeah. It takes time, and if you fail, the more you fail, the more uh, the more time you you need to pay, the the more time you need to spend. So time also could be one of the fine point loss. Mm. Yeah. And or maybe you want to learn how to code, and you say I don't I don't have any basic, so I need to learn mm. the basic. Yeah, and it also take time. And I face yeah. an obstacle. I face an obstacle, so I need to spend time to learn, to understand. It also take time. This is a five. Mm. This is a five point loss. Mm. Yeah. And when you are doing investments, you lose money. It's not only about the time. Yeah, 
There's one more thing, which is money. Your saving. Mm, your life. It, and it also could be, for example, you you lose 1,000. Maybe this is your three months, three months saving. Mm, you, are, uh, you are not losing 1,000. You are losing three months saving. Mm, three months. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so how can we shift the focus to not to not focus on the five point loss and just focus um, on the thing we want to do just focus on the uh the the the, the process and then keep doing the try and error is a question yeah mm. this is a very important question for us mm. Yeah, uh, but, uh, but just like I say just now, yeah, like, like I say just now, the premises is you need to have freedom. Mm. And okay, and, and there's one of the effect called the uh, Ma Tai Xiao Ying. I need to check, I need to check the terms. Okay. okay. Uh, do you know why? Uh, uh, what this means? No. Okay. Okay. Uh, math build. Uh, math build back. Okay. And have you heard this before? The rich people will become richer, and poor people will become poorer. Mm, yeah. Yeah. The rich get the the rich get richer. The poor get poorer. Yeah. This is this is this. Uh, Matthew, uh, Matthew effect, yeah, and it not on. I think it not only apply on the money, it also apply on the times. If you get more freedoms, and you get more success, yeah, you don't have you you don't have time to learn. You couldn't learn. Uh, uh you don't have time to learn, and then you have no. Uh, you have lesser time to learn in future. Yeah. When you have, and uh, sorry, uh, let me rephrase. Yeah, when you don't have freedoms and you 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 have lesser freedoms, yeah, you will get lesser freedoms if you don't have freedom. When you don't have time, when you don't have enough time, you get lesser time. When you are not rich, you get poorer. You get less richer. Mm. And it also applies. Uh, it also uh, relate to the to the Pareto principle, which is the the eighty twenty rules. Mm. Yeah. So, mm, so 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 that's all for my sharing. Mm. Yeah. Anything want to add in? Uh, yeah, no for today. Okay, so that's all for our today conversation. How do you feel? Did you enjoy the conversations? Please tell us what you think of our conversation. And we are not native speakers. If you found any vocal mistake that we make, please also comment to let us know. Because we want to learn more and improve ourselves. Remember to like subscribe to us. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.